guys. Traditionally, this recipe calls for something called a lardon. A lardon is bacon that's been cut in size and it's been blanched in water to get the predominance of the smoky flavor out to be used in beef bourguignon. I'm not going to use bacon. What I'm using here today is French andouille sausage that's made by my local butcher. Okay? I'm going to brown this and set it aside. Okay guys, okay. I browned up the andouille sausage and now I'm browning up my stew meat. Okay? You can use basically any kind of meat you want for the stew. Crosscut shanks, you can even use oxtails, bottom round, uh, chuck, whatever kind of meat you can find that's of a decent quality. This stew meat I get from my butcher also, and it's bottom round, cut up into about two inch pieces. Okay. I'm going to brown these, and I'm going to set them aside just like I did with the sausage. A good tip to know about browning meat when you want to flour it and brown it is you want to pat the meat dry. You want to get the meat as dry as possible. If the meat is wet, it won't brown. Okay, It won't get these crispy bits. So I'm going to continue browning up the beef. And then we're going to move on to the next step, sautéing the vegetables. All right, guys. Now I'm just doing a quick sauté and browning of my mirepoix, or mirepoix. Okay. Carrots, celery, and pearl onions instead of sliced onions. I'm just going to sauté these up a little bit. Get the carrots and the celery a little bit on the soft side. And this is going to be added into the crock pot. take about two or three minutes and then I need to saute some mushrooms. Okay guys, now I'm sauteing some crimini mushrooms, about a pound, in some butter and cooking oil. Butter for the flavor, cooking oil for the heat point. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I know you didn't see me do it on other segments of the video. But remember, as you saute the different parts of this recipe, don't forget to build layers of flavor with a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I'm going to saute these mushrooms down, and then I'm going to make our bouquet garni, and then we're going to build the crock pot. Okay, now we're going to make just a very simple bouquet garni that's going to go into the crock pot. Very simple. One teaspoon of rosemary, one teaspoon of thyme, two bay leaves that I'm going to crush. That's it. Okay. Then I'm going to take the four corners. Okay. And a piece of string. Tie it off. Here we go. And here's our sachet. This is going to go into the crock pot with everything else. Okay everyone, so let's build our beef bourguignon. The first thing I'm going to put into the crock pot is a charred onion. Okay. The full recipe will be on my blog. The first thing that's going in there is a charred onion. Okay. Second thing that's going to go in there is the meat. Okay. There we go. Okay. With all that flavor. Get that spread out. Then the andouille. The French andouille. Instead of the bacon. Now, I've got some garlic. Okay. That's going to go in there too. Here are the okay. sautéed mushrooms. Okay. And here's the mixed vegetables. The pearl onions, the carrots, the celery. And I'm using a nice red wine I got on sale. You can use Chianti, Burgundy, Merlot. I happen to like a Pinot Noir. I like the acidity of Pinot Noir. It cuts the fat from beef. There's a lot of oil. There's a lot of fat in this dish. I'm using the entire bottle, a fifth, 
okay? This is a five quart crock pot. And I'm also gonna use about three cups of beef stock, okay? Mixed with the wine. Yeah, oh, this is gonna be good. And I leave about a half an inch to the surface, okay? Leave about a half an inch to the surface. I spread it out so it, you can see that it just covers. It just covers. Okay? And I'm gonna turn this on low, and this is gonna take about seven hours because I like cooking it long and slow. So, I'll see you guys in seven hours. Oh yeah, there goes the bouquet garni, okay? That goes in there. I want to get it wet. There we go. Okay. Okay. My beef bourguignon has been cooking for about four hours. And now I'm going to add some tomato paste to it. Okay. There we go. Just going to stir that in. About one two tablespoons of tomato paste. Stir it into the dish, okay? And I'm gonna continue to keep on cooking this for about another two to three hours. But it looks lovely right about now, doesn't it? Look at that, look at that, look at that broth, okay? Look at the meat. Just delicious, okay? This is one of the classics, and it's gonna be really, really good. Okay, the beef bourguignon has been cooking for about five hours now, and even on low, you can see that it's starting to bubble even on low. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fortify the red wine, and I'm gonna fortify it with a shot of French cognac. Here we go. You can use any brand you want. Corbusier, Remy Martin, whatever cognac you want to use. You can use Armagnac. Okay. It doesn't matter. Armagnac, cognac, it doesn't matter. An ounce and a half to fortify the red wine. <clears throat> this is gonna cook for another hour. And then I'm gonna add those baby gold potatoes. And then dinner's gonna be served. Okay guys, so my beef bourguignon has been cooking now for about six hours. And now I'm gonna start dropping in some of these baby gold potatoes, okay? These baby gold potatoes will suck up some of the juices and also slightly thicken this recipe. I'll put them in here and it'll take about an hour for them to cook, maybe an hour and 15, okay? There we go. Just gonna stick them right in there. We're right at the rim of the crock pot. So all the measurements worked out really, really well. And put the lid back on. And in about an hour, we're gonna have beef bourguignon in the slow cooker. Okay guys, there it is. It's actually been cooking for about eight hours total. And those little baby gold potatoes are nice and tender. Okay, it smells wonderful in here. There's the meat, carrot. And I'm gonna put some of this in a bowl and I'm gonna have dinner. All right guys, there it is. Eight hours of slow cooking. And right there is beef bourguignon made in a slow cooker for a guy named Paul in faraway England. 
lovely baby gold potatoes, pearl onions, mushrooms, beef, carrots, celery, just delicious. In a lovely red wine sauce fortified with some French cognac, this is just terrific and I'm really looking forward to eating it. So I'm glad you stopped by and I'll see you.